Hello everyone, I am Harshita and today we will see how to create a receipt via spreadsheet. So steps which we need to follow for creating a receipt here are first we need to install ADFTI. It is Application Development Framework Desktop Integrator. You can find the same in the navigator under tools in the instance and can download from there. Then the next step is to create a receipt in spreadsheet. So for that, we will go to the instance and we will download the spreadsheet and create a receipt. Fine. After that, we will import that receipt and we will post the receipt in the instance. So these are the steps which we need to follow for creating a receipt via spreadsheet. So we will go to the instance and see how it can be done. So moving to the instance. Now, after logging to the application, go to Navigator. Now we will download the spreadsheet to create a receipt. So we need to go to Receivable, Account Receivable. Here, go to Task List. It is coming as Create Receipt in Spreadsheet. Just download it by clicking it. Fine. Now, after downloading the spreadsheet and giving the login credential here, this spreadsheet will open like this. Just give a batch source. What is your batch source? Give a batch name. Actually, system will take it as a batch number only. So I'm giving the number as double five double six. Attach a receipt method. Attach remittance bank. I'm just double clicking on it and this window is getting open. Selecting and saying OK. Fine, so this is the mandatory fields which I have given here. Now you can see that control is coming here. You need to give the number of total number of receipt which you want to create. Like I'm going to create two receipts and the total of these two receipts are 50,000. That is 25 each. Fine, so you need to give here that and it should match with the receipt information here, which I'm providing here. Fine. So that difference becomes zero. So giving the sequence number as one, the seat number is LI1, the seat amount is 25,000, the seat date I'm giving the today's date, the counting date also today's date, currency as USD. Then after that, giving the customer name. Customer account came automatically. System fetched it automatically. Now attaching the customer site here. Fine. Now we will prepare one more receipt. Sequence two, number LI2. And I'm just copying and pasting the same. Fine. So this is how you can prepare a, or create a receipt here. Fine. After giving all the receipt information, you can see that here difference come zero. Uh, difference has become zero. Fine. So now we will just go to this upload and click here. Say OK. You can see that status is coming row inserted successfully. Now we will go to the instance and check whether this receipt has been created there or not. The batch number was double five double six. We will search by this batch number or batch name. You can say that. Fine. So moving to the instance. Now again, go to navigator. To receivable account receivable. You can see that double five double six. We have created a batch number has been created in this instance also. So this is how you can create a receipt. Now just click here and post it. 
it has been posted successfully also now you can check from the manage receipt go to manage receipt give a batch number here double five double six and search you can see both the receipt number li1 and li2 has been created and posted also so this is how you can create a receipt via spreadsheet so this was all about it thank you